guys tour today. And then we're heading home. Good morning, y'all. Welcome to my channel. My name is Shasha. Shasha. Um, I am currently on my way to give me something to eat. The girl is starving. It is Happy Tuesday. It's currently 9:55 a.m. The girl is gonna go get her some, some breakfast or something. I need some milk for the house. That's what I was leaving out for and to do this little application. But then I can, now I can't find the address or deadlines or anything like that. I accidentally deleted it. And it's not in my e inbox anymore either because it's the attachment no longer found or something. Or y'all know how Facebook be doing if you got Facebook. So Sarah. Salty as a mug because I need that information so I can take my information down there. But I don't know the address or anything like that. So, yeah. <sighs> I'm so irritated by that though. I'm not gonna lie. Let me go find me something to eat and then I'll be able to better talk to y'all because your girl is starving. And I wanted to give y'all kind of like a 37 week update um, as well as like how I've been feeling. to me and stuff like that and with this with me coming towards the end of my pregnancy or whatnot because i don't think i really ever sit down and just really talk to y'all like, well i do talk to y'all i talk to y'all a lot but i don't really ever think i really just get down like get to put my i don't know but we're gonna talk once i get me some food Alrighty, uh, I ain't trying to get nobody license like plates, but why this little black car right here gonna try to hurry up and speed up so this other car can get in front of you? Know how you're supposed to say turns from each lane from Chick Fil A. Yeah, that's where I'm at, Chick Fil A. But she tried to hurry up and speed right there. That car went straight up there and hop right in front of it. She an asshole. Like, girl, I get that you hungry and all. I'm hungry too, but you don't see me acting like that. Like, that's ridiculous. She kind of chubby in the face, so. That kind of explains it, but still, look at her. She mad. She pissed. Like she's really, really pissed. Real life pissed. <laughs> Who? All right, y'all. So I just left two restaurants this morning, right? I went to my dogs to get my kids some eat, and I went to my chick to give me some eat, right? Why do they keep forgetting about that? Joke? They forgot it at McDonald's, and they forgot it at Chick Fil A. Am I mad about it? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not really mad about it or anything like that. I mean, I do want the grape jelly for my sandwich, but I'm not mad. Because I think I just like the taste of my biscuit. But it's chicken jelly and I don't know. Because I wanted some chicken, like some chicken, a chicken biscuit. That just sounded much better than the sausage biscuit today. So that's what we got. We can buy ourselves something this morning. I wasn't sure if this car was going to run a light or what. I'm going to run to Target real quickly. And, um grab like a little half a gallon of milk because I've been wanting some cereal and the milk has been going bad fast so or it, our milk be freezing or something I don't like that because it when it's I don't know it already tastes weird mm. yeah. not like taste weird as it oh it just tastes weird like milk just has a weird taste now but I'm gonna go ahead and grab us a half a gallon and then I'm gonna Probably grab me some jelly too. I ain't gonna play around. Ooh. Alrighty y'all, so I'm home now. I know I want to talk to y'all. I said I was gonna talk to y'all about whatever the case was. Um, something came up. I was also a short, but we can talk now. We, we can talk now, okay? We can talk. I'm at home, I'm in the kitchen. Y'all can probably see because the pantry the door is like right there. It's always open for some some weird reason. The kids were, were in here because they had a cupcake when they shouldn't have had a cupcake. And I don't know where they got the cupcakes from, so they must have ate the old cupcakes from out of this cake thing. But yeah, what's up? Let's say we're gonna be talking about my uh, like me or Danielle, my 
I'm 37 weeks this week. So I was gonna update y'all on that, on how, that be, how that's been, and my overall mental and stuff like that. When it comes to the relationship, I mean, it's a relationship and like, like my life in general, honestly. So, let me see if this will work for y'all. Y'all might fall, I don't know. I might not be strong with nothing, who knows. Let's see what this bath and body work lotion is giving. All right, so, what do we begin? Okay, 37 weeks. I feel big. <laughs> I look big. Everybody says it. I'm finished. I'm gonna show y'all my stomach. I can show y'all first. I can show y'all my baby first. I think I showed y'all yesterday's vlog too, but I can show y'all off the side the uniform. And even though I lift my shirt up for y'all in that video, but whatever. Y'all can't even see. Hold on. Let me get on this chair. Dang, really? I just wiped something else off me. This is what my stomach is looking like. Inside. Front. I knew y'all was gonna fall back and body work. Y'all lotion in. Y'all lotion in. Lotion in. But, yeah, that's that. Again, 37 weeks. 37 weeks in. Today is Tuesday, so 37 weeks, three days. Um, I had a doctor's appointment. For set for tomorrow, schedule for tomorrow, but I rescheduled it for Thursday so I could just do it in the morning and knock that out. I had some stuff to get done today, but I realized I didn't have enough time because I didn't wake up early enough to do it. Well, I woke up early enough, I just didn't leave out early enough to do it. And they did have to be at work at 12. He was late because he overslept, though. So, yeah. I was woke though. But anyway, moving on. I'm over this pregnancy. I'm ready to get it over with. The things that has been transpiring towards the end of this pregnancy has been hella crazy. Hella unexpected. But expected at the same time. You know, it's like it's every pregnancy I've had has had a lot of BS involved in it. Like a lot of stuff I don't usually talk about or top um touch base on very much you know a, a lot on my channel or anything like that but it's been full of a lot of a lot of a lot of, a lot of BS so this um it's like it I feel like it comes more as a surprise to me because it's more towards the end of the pregnancy versus the beginning or the middle or whatever the case is but yeah you cannot expect too much from anybody like always expect the unexpected when it comes to any and everybody like literally like i went through so much with my pregnancy with my twins like from relationship wise to family wise like i mean like dead ass like serious like I'm talking homeless at eight months pregnant, like, or just seven. Like, homeless at seven months pregnant with my twins. Like, that's how I really got. Um, and that's why, that's the reason why I will forever be thankful for um, my kids' grandmother on their dad's side. I really appreciate her for that. I would never, ever take that for granted. Um, what else? With my with car, yeah, it was just a hard overall pregnancy. Um, it was months where I had to just like literally take off from work, and um, I didn't really have any type of any like any type of assistance when it came to being pregnant with Kari. It was just the twins, me, and of course I was pregnant with Cardi for like three or four months or whatever the case is. And that kind of took a toll on me because I still had to go to doctor's appointments. I still had to take the twins to their doctor's appointments. I still had to go grocery shopping. I still had to pay bills. Like when I tell y'all I budgeted my tax money so well that year, I budgeted my tax money so well because I was out of work for like, that entire four months almost 
I have people saying they will babysit my kids that wouldn't babysit my kids. I have people that said that they would bring diapers for my kids that didn't bring diapers, even the snowstorms and all types of stuff. Like for me having to shovel my way out, like I'm talking about like maybe six to eight inches of snow while I was pregnant with Kari, while I was about five or six months pregnant with Kari. I was um, digging myself out of six to eight inches of snow, all types of stuff. Like I, and one day, God, really showed like he really showed his light shined his light down on me that day and he sent two helpers to help me like dig myself out. i'm a forever i don't remember the date but i'm a re always remember that 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 happened you know what i'm saying like where somebody just kindly and nicely just came and came along helped me dig my car out y'all my babies were in the car i had to let first of all i had to let the car warm up so it was just a lot and then again, I'm five or six months pregnant, so I'm having to carry two kids down in car seats. I'm having to run up the stairs, take one down, then run back up the stairs, get the other car seat. Like, it was just a lot. <laughs> and then, well, now with this baby, I was sick, really sick at the beginning of my pregnancy. This is the first time I was ever, ever sick. Like, I've never like I was nauseous with the kid with the boys, but I had never been like just throwing up or feeling weak to the point where I'm gonna throw up and stuff like that. But this baby, she took over. I was sick. I was at work like the whole last day at, at that old, at my old job. I was just in the bathroom, in the bathroom, in the bathroom, in the bathroom. I kept feeling faint. I kept feeling weak. I just kept feeling lightheaded. I thought I had to throw up. And then once I, like, it's like once I really confirmed that I was pregnant, that's when all hell broke loose. I guess that was my six-week mark, technically, because um, when I went to the hospital, I measured a week ahead, which is, yeah, what they're saying, what they're still saying now. So, I ended up being six weeks, and I was sick from, like, six weeks to about 16, 17 weeks. And shortly after starting to feel slightly better, I ended up catching the flu for the first time. So... I wasn't back truly working up until like March, like my birthday. So from December, from the uh, beginning of December to the, like maybe a week or two before my birthday, that's when um, I was able to get back up to work. And my birthday is in March 21st, if y'all don't know. So I didn't start working again until like a week before that. I started doing shift orders. Because uh, the security job had fired me because I wasn't feeling well. I, and they keep on just saying they did it the whole time. I texted this man and I called this man and I didn't get no response. So, yeah. Moving on. I went through that. I went through that alone, truthfully. Um, it was, it definitely was a lot to handle, especially being that um, I have my three kids and Chase Kari. I had them al alongside of me for the ride. They had to be at school at certain times. My car was messing up. Like, it was just so much going on there too. Uh, this My car started messing up in November. It started by working again and then it completely cut out on me like I think in April of this year. Um, so yeah, I've been without a car pretty much since then. My babies were... Um, really going through it when I was sick like completely sick like to where I was unable to like do anything I'm talking about like I couldn't do anything if you've ever had morning sickness or experienced morning sickness like I did like then you know what I'm talking about to where you can't do anything for yourself just about other than go to the bathroom and you really can't do that you don't really want to get up to do that because that's just how bad you feel but I was always feeling bad. I still was making videos and stuff, trying to push through on days where I kind of felt okay. Um, but in reality, I was really, really suffering. That's how. I, that's why, I, for the most part, I understand what a lot of YouTubers say when you can't judge somebody's life off just those little clips because you would really think that I was okay the whole time. Like, bro, I filmed that all in 10 minutes. <laughs> that wasn't even two hours of my life. That was literally 10 minutes of my life that you guys got in six minutes. Like. I definitely understand what they're saying because it's like no i would pick up here i would pick up there try to go do this you know i had to go grocery shop regardless 
Um, it was some days where I couldn't even feed my kids, y'all. Um, I'm not saying, I, well, it was some days where I couldn't, like, make them an actual meal. It was days where I was giving them, like, the quickest thing I could find or the quickest thing they could bring to me up in here that was easy for them to either warm up or in a microwave or, like, I would call people to bring food sometimes. Um, sometimes their dad would bring food, like, it would be a lot. And then I just didn't have the help that I needed at the beginning of my pregnancy. Long story short, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. I'm not going to hide that or anything like that. It just was a tough overall pregnancy for me this time around as well. Um, and it continues to be um, up until now. It's just that I can do more for myself. But yeah um my mental right now is not the best but i'm not gonna say it's the worst either because god woke me up this morning he woke my kids up this morning he gave us the gift of life up until now like so i can't say i'm just living my worst life but i really wish that i was in a better position than what i'm in now I um, ended up just not having the best pregnancies um, throughout my life. And it's like, I know you shouldn't, I guess, like, base certain stuff off. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, I know you shouldn't say, like, that's why you don't want to ever have kids again. But when you met traumatized through some things, it's like, I'll never do that again. You know, it's like it, it, it scars you from ever wanting to try to try something again or or do something again. Y'all know how it can be. So yeah, that's my case here. I'm actually thinking about getting my tubes tied or getting my tubes removed, uh, which is a permanent procedure. It cannot be undone. Even though I'm only 28, but at the same time, I'm really highly just considering it. It is high on the list, but I also have the other, um, I also have other options like birth control wise. The thing that goes in your arm, but that's only three years. And then I also have the one, the implant that goes inside of you, which I've had before, which is IUD. Um, but they have one that doesn't have hormones in it. It does have its pros and cons like any other birth control, but yeah. And moving along what else life has really been life in. <laughs> life has really really been life in. um it's like once like every time i think i got up i get pushed back down again um i was able to work and get enough money to buy my baby the things that i bought her which was 99% of the stuff that she has. So, um, I was able to do that and I was able to even throw in some stuff for my boys, which y'all were able to see in like previous videos and stuff like that. I did not ask for help. I did not ask anybody from, I was able to get that, you know, get that off of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was able to take care of what needed to be taken care of to get that stuff taken care of. <clears throat> and it remains I mean I've been just you know trying to work hard to get to where I need to be or what not the only thing that she has that I didn't buy is some a box of diapers and a box of wipes everything else was off me I took care of that um, I, well, I was buying my kids some little summer clothes in between I wasn't able to get them that many outfits I think I got maybe like a total of five outfits for them or whatever four or five outfits which is only a week's worth of clothes that's how you know that's how I've been doing financially basically um, but like I said once I think I got up two or three steps I get knocked back down ten like literally so I'm back um you know back where i started pretty much um, i'm trying to work this entire week to get things taken care of that needs to be taken care of um 
what else? As y'all seen the previous video, I pranked my kids' dad or whatever the case is. Um, that's but that wasn't nothing serious. It was just like it's supposed to be. A, I just wanted, you know, the reaction, just the reaction, and that reaction wasn't even, you know, like mm, it was what it is. It is what it is, and I'm gonna tell y'all why in just a second. Alrighty, so y'all, I'm finna go ahead and get my boys dressed. Their daycare are gonna be here between two and two thirty. Um, before I was told two thirty and three, so I wasn't sure. So I'm finna go find them something to wear real quickly, and then I'm finna to um go get them dressed. Shakari is very sweet. He only has on the wrong. Y'all, I'm not sure what is this. What this is on my shirt? It's just a, it might be the other. I don't know. It's so random. It's just sitting here. But, yeah, there's that. Um, I finally put the pillows, the couch pillows back on to the y'all can tell. But, yeah. Then I got my baby, some of my baby stuff sitting on the couch. Or whatever. Let me go and put them in the shower and find them something to put on real quickly. And then I will talk to you guys once I'm getting them dressed or once I got them dressed. I have gotten them dressed. Alrighty, y'all, so I'm at work. Um, excuse my hair, it's just a messy bone. It's just literally how I felt when I went to sleep. I woke up like this, literally. Um, so I just wore it like this. Um, what else? Wake up, flawless. Yeah, that's about it, y'all. Um, I'm finna edit some videos. I'm just right now. I just got off my little tour. I had to go around and do a tour for the um building. Make sure everything was peaches and cream. And then um, I just have to use the bathroom into my bladder. I'm gonna just empty my bladder every. I ain't gonna say every two hours, but for the most part, I'm gonna try to go to the bathroom before I sit back down because. Yeah, this thing is looking. She need to come about. She need to come behind her behind. I know after this week, but um, finna go back to the desk. Finish doing my job applications. Um, I'm looking out for jobs that start like, you know, back in like, you know, September-ish or stuff like that. Like they have a start date or whatever the case is. That's what kind of, this, those are the jobs I'm looking for right now. So I'm just applying for plenty of jobs. So once all it is here, I can get this show on the road and I have a full-time job. And I will not too much have to worry about this job no more. Not like giving me hours off because I'll have a job a different job or whatever so it wasn't putting jobs you know I job application in the entire time until I can get my own house and I can get my car fixed and then uh, your girl gonna tell y'all all about this little journey that I'm on right now I am gonna post two videos one is gonna be a prank video kind of sort of like a prank vlog and then the other one is going to be me breaking down. I ain't even breaking down. It's just a video um, telling y'all that I'm going to be come a single. Well, I'm a, I'm now officially a single mom of three going on four. And yeah, I don't give a lot of detail in that video, but I do tell y'all like it's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that y'all don't know about that maybe one day I'll talk to y'all about. Um, once I feel comfortable enough to do so. So yeah, let me get back to the desk and then I will talk to you guys like within the next two hours to update y'all on what's going on or what I've accomplished or whatever, okay? Alrighty y'all, so I'm on to my second tour. <laughs> um, I really just started it already, but uh, I just, um, yeah, I just started it. I need the bathroom first before I can finish it because I don't want to hold it. So, yeah. Um, that's that. When I get back to the desk, I'm going to heat my Chick-fil-A up that I had for breakfast this morning because I didn't eat it all. I told you I didn't want to warm it up because I didn't feel like you're nuts. So, 
I'm gonna do that once I get back. And right now I'm just editing these two or three videos that I do have. So I can prepare them to go up for the next two or three days or whatnot. So, yeah. With that being said, um, I guess I'll see y'all when I warm my boot up. Mm -mm -mm. Alrighty, I uh, made it back to the desk. I'm gonna eat my food. Alrighty, uh, we're at a store today. And then we're heading home. Alrighty, um, so I'm off work now. I have this shirt on and my work shirt, but um, I'm off work now. I'm gonna take a shower so I can go to bed and catch you eating some McDonald's. But this is the end of the vlog. Hope you guys enjoy. I will talk to you guys in my next video.